above virtual host history. Okay, so I think these are the three licenses that you will encounter the most. <coughs> right. So first one, workstation. Okay. How we license? Very simple. One license per machine. So which means what? How many machines to back up? 10 PCs, 10 licenses. Alright? 10 server, excuse me, 10 servers, 10 server licenses. That's it. Okay. And the best part is virtualization. So virtualization, other software will charge you by what? Number of cores or number of CPU for the virtualization host, right? Oh, this is a two CPU host, you need to buy a two CPU license. This is a four CPU host, you need to buy a four CPU license. Okay? For us, for Cronus, very easy. One physical server, one license. You can be two core four, you can be two CPU four, 860, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay? And any number of virtual machines on the host. So again, some, some software will charge you, or oh, if you back out 20 VMs, it's one, one license. If you have more than 20 VMs, it's a different license. All right? Okay. Any number of uh, virtual machines and any number of backups. Because some other software will charge you based on the amount of backups. Or oh, you back up one terabyte, you pay this much. You want more than one terabyte, you pay some more. Okay. So there is no restrictions on the number of, virtu number of CPUs, number of virtual machines, Power of storage. Just one server, one physical server that you're using for your virtualization host, one license. It means it depends on the host. Yes, uh, it depends on the host. Right. So which means when you go to the customer and say, oh, I'm using ESXi, then you ask how many ESXi hosts you have. Oh, I have three. Three virtual host licenses. That's it. Don't need to bother about number of virtual machines, don't need to bother about you know anything else. CPUs, all that, we need to care. Right? Oh, I'm using Hyper-V. I'm running actually, uh, uh, okay, two Hyper-V in my first office, two more Hyper-Vs in my second office. So total four, right? Four virtual host licenses, that's it. Right. So we count by machine, or what we call physical host. Okay, one thing to be careful about is, in the exam, be careful about the wording. Okay. For virtualization, is we say per physical host, not per machine. Okay, because per machine can be virtual machine, right, which is wrong. So for virtualization, it's per physical host, or we say per virtualization host. All right. So workstation is for Windows desktop operating system. Okay, let me just jump forward to the next slide here. So workstation is for Windows PC, another one Windows desktop. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, right? We even do Windows XP, okay? Although for Windows XP, you need to have Service Pack 3, okay? Service Pack 2, <coughs> Service Pack 2, the support is actually coming later. Or Mac, so one Mac, one license, two Mac, two licenses, okay? For Server, it's Windows Server OS, okay? So if you have Windows Server, let's say Server 2003, 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019, Okay, it's one to one or any Linux. Linux we license as server. Right. So I don't think you encounter Linux desktop. It's kind of rare in my experience. Okay, but if you if your customer has Linux desktop, then unfortunately they are licensed as server. Okay. So server. Um, then for virtual host, it's VMware, it's Hyper-V, it's Zen server, it's KVM, it's Red Hat is Oracle VM server, host. Right? So physical host. Now, let me go back <coughs> here. Okay. Per machine for workstation and server, this applies to on premise physical. If you have customer that is running virtual machines in Azure or Amazon EC2, and they want to back up those virtual machines, that is per virtual machine. For right. car only. Yes, for car only is per virtual machine. On-prem is always physical. Okay, because there's no way we can count the hypervisor. Right? 
right? We don't know what's the virtual, what's the physical host for Amazon or for uh, Microsoft Azure, right? Okay, so that's why. Okay, so on-prem is physical in the cloud, then it's virtual. Okay. So these are the three standard class of license: workstation, server, virtual host. Okay, and we have subscription and perpetual. So if I'm not wrong, data distribution here sells perpetual. All right, perpetual means what? One time purchase. You purchase the major version, you can use that major version forever. All right, even when we release new version, the customer can keep on using the same existing version. All right. Okay. Now, with perpetual license, the first year of maintenance is included. So software, when you buy, there's always maintenance. So what is maintenance? It usually involves two things. Number one, customer support. So which means what? Your customer can contact a chronic customer support. Hey, I have an issue with the software. All right, can you help me? Then I'll support the client help. Okay, that's number one. Number two, it also means upgrade protection. So within that first year, from purchase, it starts from date of purchase. Uh. So that means if your customer say, I buy today, I six months later, then install, uh, they're left with only six months of maintenance. All right? Uh, so it starts from date of purchase, one year. And upgrade protection basically means that if within that one year, we release a new version, new major version, not minor version, a major version. Minor version can always upgrade. Uh. As long as, it, let's say, buy today is 12.5. So as long as the major version is 12.5, we will keep on releasing updates. Okay, like update three. Up, now it's really uh, update three. So every three months or four months or so, we release an update. Update usually is bug fixes, some minor new features, you know that sort of thing. Okay, it's like Windows, like you get service pack one, service pack two, service pack three. Same thing. So we call it updates rather than service pack. Right. So you can always update for your for your major version. <coughs> but once we release a new major version. Let's say we release version 15, 1.5. Okay, so we want to skip number 30, number 40 because 30 is unlucky for Westerners, 40 is unlucky for Eastern people. <laughs> <laughs> so skip, skip, 15. <laughs> Alright. Um, okay, but this is not confirmed, right? it may be something else totally. I don't know what they want to use. Sorry, <laughs> it's just today they are, I want to use this number, today, tomorrow I want to use a different number, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. So let's say we release a new version, new major version, 15. Okay, next year, for example. So next year, let's say March. So customers.